Boyle, David Boyle, stand-up comedian, hero to the masses. So this podcast, I haven't given to any of my, let's call them civilian friends, to steal a Kurt Metzger line, my civilian friends. That's mainly just so I can shit on them behind their backs. So I, I just threw this podcast up without putting it on any of my social media and whatnot. Anyway, so I gave my podcast to one of my mates to listen to. I didn't really want to, so but I just gave it to him to see what he reckons. Then, unbeknownst to me, he then forwards it to his wife, who fucking hates me, with good reason as well. She definitely has a valid reason to hate me. I pretty much ruined their wedding. They got married six years ago and I was this guy's best man. I was meant to be his best man. Anyway, me and a couple of the other guys got up to Queensland a couple of days early and decided to drink and we didn't even book a hotel. So we drank on that first night and stayed in a park. When we woke up that morning, me and one of my other mates were like, fuck it, let's just keep drinking. We have to wait for a hotel room anyway, so let's drink. So me and that mate drank from, I think it was about 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. I think the wedding rehearsal dinner started about 8 and me and my mate rocked up at 9.30 fucking blind drunk. Anyway, my mate, my mate's wife, her family's German and my mate a couple of days beforehand had advised me that her granddad was a German SS soldier in World War II, a Nazi soldier. He was a Hitler youth, and apparently he's a fucking cunt as well. My mate pulled me to the side and he's like, whatever you do, don't say anything to this guy. I'm like, yeah, all right, I won't say a word to him. And my, my grandma's Polish, and she lost all her family in World War Two, besides one sister. So that was spinning around in the back of my head. So I get to this rehearsal dinner and I am completely fucked up. And I sit down at the table and everyone's having like a quiet dinner. And me and my mate have rocked in and we're ready to party. The wedding's the next morning as well at like 7am. We didn't give a fuck at that point about the wedding. And I'm the best man. I was meant to be the best man. So... I sit down at the table and I just see some old dude. I didn't know who it was. I didn't know whether it was the grandfather. I assumed it was the grandfather. I go to the old guy. So, are you the fucking Nazi cunt? And turns out it wasn't even the grandpa. It was actually just the bride's dad. He's like, what? He's like, what are you? What What do you? I'm like, are you the Nazi cunt? You know what I'm talking about? He's like, I'm sorry, um, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm like, don't fucking, you're the fucking Nazi cunt. And then everyone were like, uh, no, that's just, that's the bride's dad. And I was too far, I was too far in it. So I just stood my ground. I'm like, nah, he's a fucking Nazi anyway. <laughs> he's a fucking Nazi. <laughs> Anyway, and then pretty much the whole fucking wedding turned on me in an instant. And I wouldn't back down either. I just kept on calling him a fucking Nazi the whole time for some peculiar reason. So anyway, I kept on drinking, woke up the next morning for the wedding. I barely remembered what the fuck happened. I just knew, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you know you've fucked up completely. I had that feeling in my solar plexus and my mate who I was meant to be best man, he walks in because his wife had just spent six months trying to convince him to not make me best man because she thought I'd do something fucking stupid and she was right, I did. So he came in and he's like, listen man, you can't be my best man anymore. I'm like, yeah, obviously, obviously I can't. He got a replacement best man and I stood at the back of the wedding. If you ever look at their wedding certificate, I've been trying to get a photo of it so I can put it on social media. 
because they'll be real happy with that, that I'm making a joke out of their life. But where you write the best man name in, it says David Boyle with a pen mark through it, and then just above it, Jake Dawes, who replaced me as best man. So it took took quite quite a while for them to recover from that incident. So she's always hated me and I've been doing a little bit better with her. Not much better, but just a little bit better. She still thinks I'm a piece of shit and to be honest with you, she's she's pretty much bang on. Anyway, my fucking idiot friend, for some reason, sent her the podcast like like she's going to enjoy this podcast. For fuck's sake. So he sends it to her and he doesn't direct her to what episode she should listen to. Just just let her pick any old fucking episode. So what did she pick out of all those fucking episodes? She picks the first fucked up Friday where I tell the story of one of the listeners pissing in some girl. <laughs> that filthy animal. No, it was a good story, man. I loved it. So she listens to that. She listens to that story. There's no chance of reconciliation now. I said to my friend, I'm like, what were you fucking thinking? Why did you give it to her in the first place? And why didn't you just tell her to fucking listen to one of the, I don't know, the quirky episodes, for fuck's sake. He's like, let me just put it this way. She didn't like it. I'm like, what did she say? Because there's nothing she's going to like about that episode. And he's like, the only thing she said is, in quotation marks, he is foul. And again, she's bang on. She is fucking bang on. Now the cat's out of the bag. I'm just going to have to shit on family and friends to their face. That's fine. I'm easy with that as well. Because you're all fucking degenerate cunts. Okay. That's enough for tonight. If you're enjoying this podcast, can you do me a fucking favor? Can you go to iTunes and give me a five-star rating and review it? Because it helps the algorithm and it... No, it's for my ego. Every time I look at it, I've got three fucking ratings. Three fucking ratings. And some arsehole put a three-star rating. It was probably that bitch. She better not fucking review it. Yeah, just go there, review it. Subscribe, tell your friends about it. Alright, that's it. See you later.